Hey guys, this is David McDarby, and I'm here with my very first Versus playtesting session. I'm super excited, and hopefully you guys are too. Uh, today, I have a neat deck for you, Blue White Red Minotaurs and Clerics, or Blue White Red Aggro Tempo, if you prefer. Um, so, the main structure of the deck, uh, when I wanted to attack this format, I Jund and Junk are the two best decks, and what I think they are both weak to are hasty flyers, such as Stun and Hellkite. So I wanted to make a deck that utilized him, and of course, being a member of the Izzet League, I wanted to add blue with it. So I came upon this. Um, it is similar to the third place deck from Somerset, New Jersey, that William Eads used, uh, featuring 15 creatures. The core of the deck is uh, four guys to sink draft, uh, three Boris Reckoners, only three because the fourth is in the board, and we don't want a, a handful of four Boris Reckoners. Uh, we only want to play it on turn three or maybe four, and then we're done. Uh, three snaps, because you snap Gaster Mage. Uh, four Restoration Angels for the dual, pur dual purpose of making your guys hitting him through. And use flashing back your Snapcasters for value. And the two Thundermaw Hellkites, which uh, mainly the one card I wanted to play this weekend. Um, this deck is a little more creature heavy than normal because if you have a handful of all burn spells or charms and no creatures to apply pressure, you're just going to die to their Thrag Tusk and what have you. So I have the 15 creatures. Um, we have two Planeswalkers, uh, the most exciting Planeswalker that they revealed since Jace, uh, Rawl Zarek. The Is It League Planeswalker. We have two of him. Uh, he can let your guys push through, so he's unblockable. Um, or just kill creatures, or just go to the dome for six damage, since you can use him twice. Um, he's really sweet in, in, in that aspect. Um, you can flip coins, hopefully, see how lucky you are, see if you can take a time stretch or a no stretch. Um, then we have 19 spells. Uh, we have the core three Azorius Charms and three Boris Charms. Some decks run four and four of each. Um, you don't really want a hand of two Boris Charms because they just do four damage to the face at that point, unless you have a Geist out, and that's not really what you're in the market for. Uh, so add three and three of each. Um, you have four Thought Scours to tie it all together. They let you hit your land drops. Um, they let you, your Snapcaster Mage, just be a cantrip. They really can tie the tech deck together. Um, you have 24 lands, but the Thought Scours let you hit your land drops. You're a little top heavy. You have three Restoration Angels, two Hellkites, and two Raw Zerics, so they just help you keep the gas flowing. Um, for our burn spells, we have two Pillar of Flame and two Searing Spear. Um, you kind of want to mix them up because with the Thought Scours and Snapcaster Mages, you want a good uh, mix of spells so you can find the exact right spell for the situation you're in. Um, the, we have two more pillars on the sideboard to show her up versus Burning Tree Emissary and Voice of Resurgence, the other new hot mythic card from Dragon's Maze that isn't Rawls Eric. Um, for our burns, other burn spells are Burn and Turn. Uh, this card is sweet in that it can kill Mana Dorks and go to the dorm, Dome. Or it can just straight out kill a Thractus with leaving no beast. It can kill rest, uh, Angel of Serenity. Um, it can pretty much do whatever you want. It's uh, one of those Swiss army knives of the Izzet League that we have created to kill everything and turn our matches into victories. Um, we have one Unsummon. Uh, you never know when you need Unsummon. Uh, the one mana spells work very well in conjunction with Raul Zarek, since you can tap their blocker, attack with guys, untap your land, and have an Unsummon or a Pillar of Flame to keep on the D to protect your Planeswalker. And the one final card is uh, one copy of Aurelius Fury. Now this is a card that is also a Swiss army knife of sort. It can do so many things and it's a nice, unique effect that you can uh, hit off your Thought Scourers for your Snapcaster Mage, push through damage with guys, speed in Fireball, or be in Upkeep Silence if you're afraid of a Wrath or an Unburial Rites or what have you. Um, and then we have the 24 lands, no special lands, just four of each, uh, because in this deck you really, sometimes you want to hit red on turn two, blue on turn two, red on turn one, blue on turn two, and white on turn three, and you want all the possible colors of mana that you can get. Um, so that's this deck. Uh, now we can take a look at the sideboard. And here's the sideboard. Uh, you'll see two Pillar of Flames. Uh, we bring this in versus Voice of Resurgent decks and Burning Tree Emissary. Uh, Voice is kind of warped the format in that you need the Pillar of Flame to be able to keep parity with it. Uh, we have one World Leaders Helix, another neat new addition from Dragon's Maze. Um, this is just kind of the removal spell that you want versus the aggressive decks. It can also go to the dome, a Boris Charm style in a pinch. Um, it also is just really cool looking. Uh, we have two Rolling Timblers. This is for the aggressive decks that try to play lots of weenies and rush you outright. Uh, it does kill your guys' same trash, but generally in those matchups, you don't want guys because you're trying to defend against their onslaught and then kill with your angels and dragons and whatnot. Um, we have the fourth Boris Reckoner to bring in versus the aggressive decks. Um, we have three Clone. Clone is kind of standard at this point. Uh, you can, it's good against Angel Serenity, obviously. You can make their Angel and then kill their Angel and hopefully swing with their guys to the St. Traft. It can also kill a Citic, uh, copy of Citic Slimes, uh, kill their guys to the St. Traft from bad Hexproof. Uh, just do whatever you want to do. Uh, we have four Counterspells, two Dissipate and two Syncopate. 
Uh, the syncopates, so you can have action on turn two and counter something. Counter spells are kind of weird right now in that they're good against decks, but they're terrible good against the big index like Jun and Junk. But if they have Cavern of Souls, they're notoriously awful. So it's kind of a weird place for them to be right now, but also against the control decks, if you happen to play against one, uh, you always just want them instead of your shocks and whatnot. Um, you can play spells such as Dissipate or Counterflux, but I wasn't, I'm not too focused right now on the Sphinx's Revelation decks, and rather just have the counter spells for Junk and Jund. Uh, and then, of course, two Jace Memory and Death, because you gotta have Jace, you know? Um, I chose him over uh, Assemble the Legion, because with these slimes running around, you need something else to help draw your cards or kill them. We don't have Rest in Peace, so he's not that good against Junk, but he's also just Jace, he can do whatever you want, and Jace is amazing, as we all know. Uh, so that's the sideboard. Uh, the general idea with this deck is pretty much to play Geist on turn three and try to kill them with that. Um, I chose for the get them dead approach for Blue Eye Red versus the Sphinx's Revelation approach because all these decks like Jund and Junk, they have ways that they can just pressure you and kill you while you're trying to draw cards and gain life. So if you just kill them with spirits and angels and humans and dragons, they don't have time to do these kind of things. Um, Boris Reckoner is a sweet defensive and aggressive creature at the same time. Um, and if you can happen to get the Azorius Charm, Boris Charm, infinite combo, gain infinite life with Boris Reckoner, hey, all the more fun. Uh, so we'll see how this deck's going to go. I'm playing against BWD with Junk, uh, the best deck most likely in the format as, as of this time. And we'll see how the uh, Is It League can do versus this non-blue-red menace.